Mr. Speaker, Senate Bill 2333 is the indexing bill for fiscal year 2007-2008. It relates to the constitutional provision referred to as the Copeland Cap. The Copeland Cap requires the General Assembly to pass legislation uh, to increase the cap when the growth in state appropriations exceeds the growth of the state's economy. I have a question, I think, for Mr. Sims. He spoke to our caucus earlier. Mr. Sims, or Mr. Mr. Sims, you spoke to our caucus earlier, and you, you explained to us how it's being determined, um, how the Copeland cap is being determined. Can you explain that to the body? Uh, yes, ma'am, be glad to. We are calculating it the same manner, in the same manner in which we have historically calculated it, which is comparing the growth in revenue to the growth in the economy as determined by personal income. And those are the numbers that are included within the cap bill. The discussion that we've engaged in over the last few weeks is whether we should, instead of comparing growth in the economy to growth in the revenue growth, to growth in revenues, whether it should be to growth in appropriations. That is the crux of the issue. Well, we, I have here a Tennessee Code, TCA 9-4-5203, and I think it very clearly states that it is supposed to be compared to appropriations. Section C states, when in any budget document, the percentage increase of recommended appropriations from state tax revenue exceeds the percentage increase in the estimated Tennessee personal income as defined in TCA 9-4-5201 for the ensuing fiscal year, the governor shall submit a bill or bills for introduction in both houses of the General Assembly which will contain no other subject matter and shall set forth the dollar and percentage by which the estimated growth of the state's economy is succeeded by the appropriations of state tax revenue in accordance with the Constitution, Article 2, Section 24. I think that's very clear that it is appropriations and not revenue. So are you stating that this year it is being determined by revenue rather than appropriations and that in past years since this governor has been in office that has been the same condition? Representative, I think it's fair to say that every year since the provision was built into the Constitution, it's been calculated the way that it's calculated before you. It's not this administration. It's not the prior, the one before it, or the one before it. We are treating the cap calculation consistent with the method that we have always used to calculate it. To do otherwise at this late date without a thorough, thoughtful review that could result in a change in the calculation, we believe exposes the whole budget process to legal challenge. So for that reason, we believe that we should follow the process that we have historically used in calculating the cap. I think it's rather disturbing that we've been using that calculation. I, I was never aware of that in my past five years here. In fact, I've asked questions about it before. And to see this in the Tennessee Code, in fact, Section D and E, they all state appropriations and not revenue very clearly. And I do think it's rather disturbing. And I would like to know, based on how the law states, are we exceeding the Copeland cap? And by how much are we exceeding the Copeland cap? Representative, I don't know that I can answer that question just off the top of my head. I can say, once again, that to change the method of calculation based on a presumption that we are now reading, that, that your reading of the law would be the ultimate reading that a court might find if the law were, if the, this interpretation were challenged, is a, dangerous, is a dangerous path to take. We believe that the appropriate thing to do is to treat this consistently with the practice that has been in place ever since this spending limitation was placed in the Constitution and then provide a path for a review of that process and a recommendation back to this General Assembly about what change, if any, should be made in the method of calculation. May I please speak with the bill sponsor? I yield. Thank you, sir. I, I think that not following the law 
is a dangerous path to take. And I do think that reading the law, it does lay us open to challenge right now and for past years also. And I'm very concerned about that. And because of that, I, I don't know if I can vote for this, but thank you. Okay.